Hey guys, I'm Rich. I'm part of the Worship Initiative team. Um, and today I wanted to continue breaking down main stage with you. So in the last video, um, I kind of broke down what main stage is and what this template can do. Um, but in this video, I want to break down what makes up um, a piano sound for these smaller uh, and intimate services. So let's just jump right in. So basically, whenever you download MainStage, they give you thousands upon thousands of free sounds that you just get to play with. Um, and that's what we're going to be using today to create um, what I'm going to be calling our soft piano. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to head over to your patch list and hit this plus sign at the top, which is going to create a new patch. Um, you're going to come down to your patch settings then and go to instrument, piano, and we're going to be using the Steinway Grand Piano. Um, so from there, you're going to head over to your channel strips and click on, um, it, it's going to be next to input. You click on EXS24. Um, and this brings up a pretty confusing window. I'm going to be honest, I still don't know completely what it does to this day. Um, but I, I do know about this one part which is this little part that doesn't look all that confusing. Uh, and the only one you're going to be touching, only two you're going to be touching, is this wheel that says cut off. Uh, so right now, whenever you play the piano, it's pretty aggressive. Um, and so using this cut off wheel basically adds a high shelf to it. which gives it that soft texture. That's really what we're looking for. Uh, I'm going to turn down the drive all the way. Uh, and I'm going to, it's off by default, but I'm going to turn on this fat section. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing. So already you can kind of see how we've given it that softer feel to it just by using that cutoff wheel. Um, so in your EQ settings, uh, the way you get to those is you, it's again in the channel strips. Um, right here, it's by default, it's just going to be a little line. Uh, but if you click on that, it's going to bring up your EQ settings. So what we're going to be doing um, is, if you hear that right there, um, So you can, you can kind of see already we've given it such a soft texture. Um, I think that that's a completely usable sound. If you wanted to stop right there and just use that, that's completely fine. Um, but I'm going to take it a few steps further um, by using uh, an EQ um, and a little bit of reverb. That's all it's going to take. Um, so to get to your EQ settings for this piano is you're going to come you're going to come over to uh, your channel strips uh, and you're going to find uh, the, the channel strip that holds your piano that we just messed with and come up to the EQ settings and click on that. That's going to bring up this window. Um, so basically what I'm, what I'm uh, listening for is there's, there's kind of that high frequency um, that's still, it's still giving me uh, a sharper feel to it. Uh, and we don't want that in this piano. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to look on here, uh, and I'm going to use my 1300 hertz. So you can already kind of hear. That we've we've already given it such a soft texture, and that's so nice. Uh, like, in fact, I could I could just use that sound right there as my piano, um, but we're gonna take it a few steps further um, and use uh, a little bit of EQ and a little bit of reverb, uh, and that's all we're gonna use for this. Um, so to get to your EQ settings, you come over to your to your channel strips and you find your piano, uh, and you click on EQ. It's gonna be kind of near the top. Uh, and you you click on that line right there. And that's going to bring up your EQ window. 
um, basically what I'm listening for is there's still there's still a few sharp textures in there um, that are giving me frequencies that I don't want. Um, so we're going to be watching kind of for those. Uh, and what we're going to be using is we're going to be using this uh, this teal one. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the math of it, but we're going to be using this teal one. There it is. And we're going to drag that all the way up to the top. And whenever we find that frequency, drop it below. That's, that's literally all that we needed to do. That's fantastic. That's a completely usable sound, again, just with that. But let's take it one more step further, uh, and we're going to apply a little bit of reverb to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the audio effects section, uh, and right below this tape delay, if you're using the same piano that I am, right below this tape delay, you're going to click on that empty space, um, come down to reverb in this list, uh, and click on silver verb. So this is going to bring up your reverb settings, which already if you just play with that, uh, that's going to be completely fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the wet output to around the same value that the dry is at. Uh, and then I'm going to turn down the dry a little bit to probably about 50. Sorry, I'm going to turn that up a little bit more. Yeah, I like where that was at originally. Um, and then the alt, we're not going to mess with anything else except for this high cut right here. So we're going to bring down this high cut to around 4,000 hertz, probably around 3,500. Probably adjust our low cut a little bit. You could bring up the reflectivity of the room that we're in. We're just trying to get a good reverb sound that would play well with our pad. Probably bring down the wet output. Yeah, that's nice. You know what, let's turn on the wet output a little bit more. That's nice. So right there, let's turn down the wet, probably to its original. You know what? I like their original values. That's pretty nice. So already, with just those three steps, we've created such a soft piano. Um, and this is fantastic to play by itself. Uh, and if you're not using our template, that's, this is such a fine sound by itself um, that I would use in any, any situation. Um, but let's, let's, let's do this in action. So let's use our, our little pad section. So I'm just going to choose the key of F just because I want to play in the key of F right now. Um, I'll probably bring this cut up. Oh, so what this, what this X, what, this is called an X, Y pad. So it ha you have your X value and your Y value. What I've, um, what have I, what I've assigned it to, uh, is the cutoff. So that, that high frequency is going to get cut off the more left that you're at. Um, and then this is, uh, kind of the brightness of the pad. So the higher you go, the more bright that the pad is going to be, like the more, uh, the more voices it's going to have. Um, and the lower, uh, it's just, it's going to be that much more soft. So I like to have it kind of in the middle of this bottom left box. Um, and I'm going to turn this on. I love that. I love it so much. Um, so with our sound that we've just created uh, and this drone pad that we have, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn up these lows a little bit more. There we go. It 
It's such a soft and beautiful sound. Um, and that's really all that it takes is, um, is adjusting uh, your, your velocity and your sensitivity of your playing. Um, and having a good um, warm piano sound. So uh, by warm, I mean literally adjusting our cutoff and giving it uh, and, and taking away uh, those high frequencies. Just like that. But that's kind of where I want to leave you guys for this video. Um, play with this. Um, there's a lot more options. You have all those other pianos in that list. Um, play with those. Um, adjust it to fit your needs. Um, but until next time, blessings.